Okay, so this is this is one one of the houses we lived in. Um, we actually started on 4642 York, right here on the corner. We dug out a basement there uh, when I was about nine years old, and then from there. My dad bought this house right here on the corner, which there's a picture of it right here. Okay, so you notice that we're right next to the highway here. Um, my dad actually built a bunch of apartments hooked onto the house. He had to dig a foundation out in the back of the house, so we dug the soil there too. My dad was a construction worker. He liked to fix up houses and make them better for people, and he was a big advocate for the neighborhood. His name is Joe Montoya. So we were always helping him, always working. And come to find out later on, is I lived over here on 4395 Columbine Street when I was pregnant. I actually found out that that uh, property was very contaminated and I landed up having a baby. And she grew up okay, you know, pretty good. And then she landed up having two babies, which uh, they were born blind with something, something called septo-optic dysplasia, where you're blind and one of them has cerebral palsy and the other one had a lot of uh, hormone problems and just disabilities that were really hard. The, the youngest one has cerebral palsy. I have uh, people in my family, I have a nephew that has cerebral palsy and I actually have another nephew that has cerebral palsy. So there's been a lot of things in the family that have happened because of the soil contamination and I'm sure because of the traffic up there, the benzene and whatever there is up there. I mean, we've had people in our family die from cancer. Um, a lot of cancer in the family. Uh, just a lot of different uh, hormonal things that go on with the thyroid and different things that a lot of us have. Um, we have a lot of anxiety, a lot of stress. Um, that's why I'm I'm worried about the noise that's going to be coming here pretty soon when the trucks start really working, when they start taking down the highway, when they start digging. I'm worried about the people that they hired in the neighborhood to do the digging for Kiwit. I think it's like the meanest thing you could do is to hire people from the neighborhood to dig this, this ditch 40 feet down under the ground with the contaminated soil all over there. Because what has happened to us has been a real tragedy and I would hate to see this happened to the other people in the neighborhood. Lots of miscarriages. Actually, my older sister had nine miscarriages. There's been a lot of a lot of things happen with my sisters as far as having babies. They didn't come to full term, or they've had a lot of hysterectomies and different things through the years. To uh, a couple of people in my family, my daughter, for one, she had her back fused together, so they just did surgery, two surgeries in her back. And my sister-in-law now has had her back fused together, so she's gonna have surgery real soon. A lot of rheumatoid arthritis is in the family. Um, a lot of stress, a lot of stress. So, you know, I'm worried about what's gonna happen to the people when, like, like I say, the train's right here, going by all the time. The train is right here, so every time they go down, a lot of noise. But there's gonna be a lot of noise right here when the highway starts. And they start digging this hole and they start doing this highway here. You know, I'm, I'm concerned about the noise that's going to happen here with all the trucks. I'm concerned about where they're going to take this poisonous soil. When they start digging it up, where is it going to go? I mean, is it going to go someplace safe that other people in other neighborhoods don't get contaminated? I'm worried about the people just getting contaminated with the soil moving around. It's going to be, it's going to be tremendous. And you know, the kids in this neighborhood are already suffering from the lead poisoning, from the benzene, from the cadmium, from uh, the arsenic. So just lately they found some asbestos in Swansea Playground and uh, I don't think they really did anything to remedy that. They just built a parking lot over the playground and they put up a wall with some art to make it look really nice for the kids. Everything's kind of a band-aid around here to uh, pacify the people. A lot of people don't even know what the contamination is in the ground and how it's gonna affect them. But I just wanted to say in the future, it's not only gonna affect the people that are here in Swansea, Elyria, and Glowville. 
It's going to affect the north side. It's going to affect the east side. It's going to affect Aurora. It's going to affect Montbello. Because these, this dust that's going to be pulled out of 40 feet of digging is going to affect a lot of people. So I just want to give you warning that this is not, not a good idea. There's going to be ramifications to whatever happens here in this neighborhood. This is a super fun site, this whole area here, like four miles. Uh, they've come and dug up a couple, three, four inches and put some new dirt over it. Didn't help much, I'm sure. And some of the houses were done three or four inches. I don't know, they're telling me 12 inches, but I saw what they did to a couple of houses that were owned here in the neighborhood. And it was like three or four inches that was taken out. And they covered it up with good soil. So can you imagine three or four inches and what the wind's gonna do? to take it away in a, in a good windy windy day. There is a lot of contamination in the soil from the smelters from the early 1900s, late 1800s, and there's a lot of contamination in the soil, which is mercury, lead, cadmium, and uh, arsenic, and there's also some zinc. And if you research these uh, poisonous soils you'll find out how poisonous they really are and just the other day we found out that one of the smelters was called Swansea smelter and it was located just uh, two blocks down the street here so and that one was really poisonous they don't want to talk about it too much but that one was so poisonous because it only stayed open like two to five years and they say if they stayed open less time they never got the the mixture to uh, to take care of the gold and silver, they never got it just right, so they had to close. So the mixtures that they had going into the air and the ground were very poisonous. So all this all this soil that's gonna be dug up, that is around already because they're digging up all over here. I mean, I've been around the whole neighborhood and it's really dug up badly already. So the, the dust is just going everywhere. I'll probably go to the next meeting for the, the noise variants and uh, try to get them to slow down on the noise because that noise it causes a lot of stress and anxiety it causes sleep apnea a lot of my family has these things from the first highway going up from the train being on the corner it's going to be pretty tremendous because people people have lack of sleep and it's going to cause a lot of a lot of health issues